Okay, um, so what they're asking us, if they give us a sub 1 equals 2 and a sub 12 equals 46, what they're asking us to do is find the first five terms of the arithmetic sequence. So we know it's an arithmetic sequence that we need to be able to find the difference, right? That's the key tenet of an arithmetic sequence is they have a common difference between every single term, right? Okay, so remember our famous formula that we have. I gave you guys two formulas, one for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence and two for the sum. So the nth term stated that if I had a sub n equals a sub 1 um, plus n minus 1 times d. Now, this is obviously to be used when we had a sub 1 um, and to be able to find a sub n when we knew what d was. However, when given these two terms, we don't know what d is. So we need to find the value of d. Does that make sense? OK. So let me, uh, let me go and take a look at, let me give you an example. If you guys remember, arithmetic sequence is the difference, right, between a sub 1 to a sub 2 and a sub 2 to a sub 3, right? Yes? So what we'd say is, you know, a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 minus a sub 2, correct? However, could I take a sub 3 minus 1? and then divide that by 2, and would that still give me the difference? Yes. yes. I mean, they're still going to have a constant difference. But if I don't have two consecutive terms, what I can do is I can still subtract them and but be able to find what the difference is. So what I'm saying is I don't have, oh, this is an ace of 1. Was it ace of 1? Yeah. OK, they do give us ace of 1. All right, so they give us actually ace of 1, so that's OK. So we have ace of 12. So therefore, that thing I was just talking about is not really going to apply here. So we want to figure out what a sub 12 is, equals a sub 1, which we now know is 2. Oh, sorry. So a sub, oh, let's just write it in here. a sub 1 plus, now, since I'm finding out a sub 12, that's going to be my n is 12 minus 1 times d. So a sub 12 was 46 equals 2 plus 11d minus 2, 44 equals 11d divided by 11. And you could say 4 equals <coughs> d. And then, so now you know that the difference is 4. So if a sub 1 equals 2, then a sub 2 equals a, um, a sub 2 equals 2 plus 4. And then a sub 3, right, is just going to keep on adding 4. So that would equal 6. 6 plus 4 equals 10. A sub 4 equals 10 plus 4, which equals 14. So you're just going to keep on adding 4. OK. Questions? No? Yes? No? Maybe so?